I'm John Eros and welcome to another new episode of my franchise zoo. In this episode uh, we're going to do some foliage and decoration between the habitats uh, so the landscape in this area are all gonna come together. Um, but first I'm going to put in some uh, reindeer with the sheep because I finally got some good reindeer so the deer camp will come together as actually the, the plan was. Uh, I've tested in sandbox mode if the sheep were okay with the reindeer being there, that was the case. So the sheep are gonna stay also with the reindeer unless they're gonna give me too much trouble. Um, but anyway, the reindeer are in now, so... Uh, another uh, problem with the sheep that I had was there was too much foliage for the sheep already. Uh, so I took part of the barrier and uh, draw it all around the road. Uh, so uh, he can't reach it, but now he thinks there's way less uh, plants in his habitat because the size is much bigger. So that problem is solved there. So let's start building on today's project. Uh, in uh, sandbox mode I've already made uh, some pad covers that I'm gonna use to cover up the staff pads. Uh, they're basically just uh, uh, rock pads on uh, molds made from a lot of tiny rocks uh, so there are uh, 110 pieces for each uh, rock section of pot session but I think it's worth it and it's uh, looking way better than the crappy staff pads we have right now you can download the blueprint of the three types of rock pads already on my uh, workshop so that's the Tega one I'm using here, a temperate one and a tropical one so if you want the pad covers too you can download them from my workshop here I'm making a decision I might regret uh, later I'm not only going to cover up the staff pads, but also a lot of the pads at the habitat. So the small 4x4 uh, pads uh, that are across the furing side, so not the main pads and not the uh, seating areas. And I might delete the pad sections in a later episode, because all uh, spot sections are 110 pieces each. So can really uh, reach a thousand really quick so it might go later but at this point it looks really great and for the main pads and all the pads that are not gonna be covered up I'm uh, using the same kind of uh, stone curve so the plant uh, the planting will be inside of that and not overgrow the pads So I'm building the curb everywhere first to make the foliage work later a lot easier. So after the curbs I'm making some uh, planters at the parts the people can't walk. I tried to went, uh, go with uh, 
uh, the exact parts of the road that people can't walk, but it didn't look right to me, so I made it round. Uh, that means people can clip through if it gets busy enough if people walk on the sides of the paths. So if that's the case, people slightly clip through, but I don't think it's a problem. So now I can start on the foliage work. Uh, I try to uh, create some height difference in the middle so uh, people can see through uh, parts of the middle and uh, of course see all of the first bit. Uh, so that is uh, all uh, nicely hidden away from the main path but you still can see through some of the foliage work. Uh, so it takes some time to create some height and some playing around with it but it uh, looks uh, good in the end, so let's bump up the piece count way more by placing about a thousand plants. Here I have to uh, redo some of the uh, null barriers because I'm planting way closer up to the fence now and some of the foliage was removed because I accidentally clicked on the removing all negative plants. So I'm adjusting the barriers a bit and replanting some of the foliage that was removed.
So this side is done, so I can uh, start on the other side. Uh, because I don't think the barriers I had with all the big rocks look good uh, together with the pot. I'm uh, changing up all the bar uh, barriers for a iron fence that's also more realistic looking than you would actually see in a wolf habitat at a zoo. It takes a lot of time to make, but I think it looks way better than what we had. Uh, so it's really good to go back to some things that you already built so you can improve it so the overall look is gonna be amazing. I'm gonna make the fence a blueprint on the workshop too, so if you want that you can download it too. So now I've got the fence piece and I can uh, remove the rocky bits and place the new fence all around the habitat. Because the piece count of the fence is over uh, 4000 at the moment, I'm gonna remove all of the fence parts that are buried underground, uh, so they don't uh, count anymore and it gets a slightly better, but it's still a heavily piece of fence, but it looks really great. So now it's time to put in the part of this side.
So this side is done now, it looks really great, and I want this side to be the same. So I'm gonna change it up as well, but I'm not gonna do that in the time lapse as well, because it's gonna be too boring. So I'm gonna edit out all the building, and I'm gonna show you the changes on this side as well. So here come the pots. And here's the fence. And even without foliage, that's already way better. So let's start planting this side as well. So the foliage work is done now, it really looks great and it really looks like a natural path that's there. Uh, I've left myself an open space here because it's franchise mode and I still need shops all around as much as possible where it looks good. So I'm gonna build a small shop, uh, shop area here. So let's turn up the speed again.
So, everything is built and looking good, but I have some problem with the sheep. They are stressed out and I'm not sure what the reason is. It might be because the people are technically walking on the road, so it's technically part of their habitat now. Uh, or that the reindeer still cause stress to the uh, sheep. I have to test it out which one it is. But for now I'm uh, adding the, the do not disturb sign and some speakers to calm them down. So maybe that's enough because I don't want to uh, remove the sheep. So let's uh, hope it's gonna be better. So I'm gonna ignore it now and next episode we'll see how we'll uh, fix it. So this was it for uh, this episode. I've uh, added some footage on the end so you can uh, enjoy the great uh, view of all the things that uh, I've built today. So thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.